What did you gain and what did you lose? Sit everyone and calculate because I'm seeing so many they're shaky also. Good. In American language they say seven year itch also, right? After you're married for seven years, there's a seven year itch. Things start shaking. Yeah, things are going to start shaking, correct? Sit down and calculate and say you've gotten better or worse. You've gotten better, alhamdulillah. You've gotten worse. You happy with it? So many they're happy with getting worse. Good, good luck to you. You're not happy. Take steps to become better. You want to escape? Don't wait seven years. Escape now. I've said this the first year. So many are escaping too. I'm not looking here to collect people. I'm here looking for sincere people who wants to know themselves and they want to know their Lord. Who wants to know our Sheikh and what I have to say. This is my job. You're not interested? Go. Father, mother, go. Doesn't matter to me. Because I'm not here for my father or for my mother or for my wife or for my children. I'm here for my Sheikh. I'm here for my Prophet. I'm here for Allah. This is why I left everything and I came here. You think I'm going to come here and put the baggage on me again? Why? What are we going to gain? What have you gained? What have you lost? Sit and calculate. So many of you are trying very hard, I know. Your intentions are sincere, I know that. And still I'm being hard on you, I know that too. I'm doing that, it's not for my sake. I'm doing that because I know either you are stuck and you need to get over that or you need to go to higher stations, yes. You need to go to higher stations. You cannot be stuck. You have good intentions, yes, that I know. But you have to wake up. Because we're not saying that we're defenders of truth just for play. We're not saying the Bizosman is just for play. We're not saying we're waiting for Mahdi alayhi salam just for play. If you say that, you will be punished. I will be punished. If I say those things and I'm not doing anything, I will be punished. Prophet said, there are many who are going to rise up from their prayer and before they rise up, the angels take their worship and throw it to their faces. Maybe some of you feel that you are exempt from that. Of course. The proudness when it enters to a man, it's just What is that? Who is teaching you that? Which prophet are you following? Shaitan. How is it going to be for us, all the work that we've done? Because of the sincerity that is missing, is going to be thrown to our faces. I fear every night when I make that sajda, I fear that everything that I've done is not going to be accepted and I ask for forgiveness. We should. If you like, be with me. If you don't like, leave. And don't waste time. Leave right away. Don't pass go. Don't collect 200. Just go. But if you say there is something here that I want to learn, and the teachings are beautiful, coming from Sahib al-Sayf and Sultan al-Awliya. I don't like him too much, but I like the teachings here. And I just want to stay for that. Stay. I'm very happy to look at your face. As you like, inshallah. Nope.
says Allah likes. Fatiha. Assalamu alaikum.